Hello friends, and welcome to Auto Exploits, where we bring to you updated news on electric vehicles and their company. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit on the notification bell to stay posted on the latest video we put up. Your subscription helps us to thrive as a channel and motivates us to put out more suitable content. Today's video gears at things to know about Tesla road trip tips for long travels. Many people rent RVs, minivans, and trucks to go on road trips, family vacations, excursions, etc., which is a great idea. Have you considered doing so with your Tesla or another electric vehicle? Electric cars are undoubtedly practical and efficient, but commuting long distances in one necessitates a little more forethought. You'll need to make sure your batteries have enough charge to get you safely to the next charging station, and you'll need to arrange your stops accordingly. Long travels across the country are possible thanks to Tesla's supercharger network. You may have to use traditional charging stations or even regular 120V plugs if you're traveling along less traveled routes. Every time you take a break to refuel, you'll have some free time to explore, which can enhance your overall experience. A road trip in a Tesla may be the coolest thing ever with some proper planning. Enough of the tour, let's get properly into today's content. Tips for road trips in a Tesla EV. Firstly, check the Tesla supercharger map. So, you've set your sights on a final destination, but before you can get there, you'll need to arrange your entire journey along charging stations. You won't have to worry about range because charging stations are available everywhere, but you will need to learn about your vehicle's limits. If you travel faster than you should, the batteries will lose power more quickly, and if you're not careful, you'll end up in the middle of nowhere. Check the supercharger map between you and your final destination on Tesla's official website. Plan your brakes in areas where your car's batteries will be half depleted. You will never run out of power since the vehicle will recharge faster. Number 2. Use the built-in trip planner. Excellent if you're the type that likes to plan out every last detail of a trip. However, if you're not a natural planner, Tesla's built-in trip planner will take care of everything for you. It's a handy feature that ensures you'll never run out of battery power, no matter where you go. The planner will display all charging stations along your route, along with information such as how long it will take you to drive between stations and how long it will take your car to recharge once you arrive. You won't have to check your maps constantly. Simply enter your starting point and destination, and the program will handle the rest. Number 3. Arrange car fill-ups and human fill-ups to happen at the same time. Electric cars, like the people inside, require recharging. Because the entire trip will revolve around recharging stations, you should schedule breaks based on your car's battery state. Because most charging stations are near malls and gas stations, you should schedule your meals and excursions to coincide with the charging of your Tesla. Connect your Tesla to a charging station and do some exercise. If you're hungry, get something to eat and go for a walk around town or to the mall for a coffee or anything you like. You will save time and will not be bored in your car for hours if you ensure that your needs are met while your car is charging. Number 4. Have charging adapters ready. Although, Tesla's software will offer you a detailed itinerary with the nearest charging stations, you should bring a charging adapter or a charging extension cord with you just in case. You never know when you'll need to take a detour, so having an adapter on hand to charge your car's batteries wherever you are, is always a good idea. The adapter isn't particularly large so that it won't take up much trunk space. If you don't have one when you need it, you can find yourself utterly powerless if you're too far away from a charging station. Number 5. If possible, charge when the battery level is below 50%. Some Tesla owners want to keep their batteries at 50% capacity at all times, which is acceptable, but batteries that are more than half full charge faster. So, rather than stopping every time a station is close by, you should let the batteries decline to say 30 or 35%, and then stop for a recharge to save time. It is also a matter of personal taste. Depending on how you drive, you may be able to cut your road trip charging time in half, 
if you take regular breaks to stretch your legs. Number 6. Set driving mode to conserve energy. Electric vehicles have a lot of torque, which allows them to accelerate swiftly. On the other hand, a heavy foot will quickly deplete the batteries, leaving you with far less range than you anticipated. Turn on range mode to reduce the amount of power used by the automobile and improve efficiency. This means you won't be able to accelerate as rapidly, but you'll get significantly more mileage. You will be able to drive considerably further if you take your foot off the gas pedal. Number 7. If driving in the winter, plan for a reduction in range. Winter road vacations can be even more enjoyable than summer road trips. The scenery is often magnificent, and there's something special about sitting in a warm Tesla while the rest of the world is frigid. With that stated, you should be aware that batteries behave differently in cold weather and that heating the automobile consumes a significant amount of energy. Your car's batteries will grow less efficient, requiring you to make more frequent stops. In cold weather, the Tesla battery 46 AD dry cell for instance doesn't have a traditional electrolyte, meaning any gel or liquid acids. Liquid acids and gels don't like cold. The dry cell eliminates that problem, especially when combined with the heat pump Tesla developed that will become part of the automotive mainstream. So, before you get on the road, keep that in mind. You don't want to run out of batteries far from a charging station in the dead of winter. If you're traveling in sub-20 degrees Fahrenheit conditions, you should expect a range reduction of up to 40%. There you have it for today's video. If you like what we bring out to you, kindly subscribe, like, share, and hit on the notification bell to stay posted on the new videos we put up. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.